They came from the four corners of the earth. The mightiest gladiators from Great Britain, Finland, America, and Russia. Together for the first time in history, united to accept the challenge of the international champion contenders in a battle that would decide who is the best in the world. Welcome to International Gladiators. Along with English football great John Fashionu, I'm Mike Adamley, and get ready, because on this day, we pump up the volume. On this day, our semifinals begin. All the rust should have gone now. They know exactly what to expect. A place in the grand finals. If they get through the finals, two tickets each around the world. Now, I know backstage they're very nervous, and they want to get on with it. So let's meet tonight's semi-finalists. They are... For the women, first from Finland, Pirjo Laitila. And from the USA, Kim Tyler. <laughs> Woo! Pirjo, the fans here in Birmingham remember you. You beat British champion Gene Clank in the prelims to get here to the semis. Is it going to be a little easier for you this time around now that you've done it once? Of course, it's easier because uh, I have gone every games here. But I think it's a little bit make nerves because this is the really semi-final. So yeah, with so much at stake, there's still a lot of pressure, right? Yeah. Pirjo, we wish you the very best of luck in the semi-finals. Pirjo Laitila from Finland. Now, Kim, just remind us again, what do you do for a living? I'm an aerospace physiologist with the United States Air Force. You've been here before, you know what to expect. Are you worried about any of the events today? Actually, yes. Um, I'm afraid of heights, so I, I don't want to do the pole axe. <laughs> and you know you're going to be facing Nightshade. Oh, yes, and she's very, very good, so I know I have my work cut out for me. Okay, we wish you all the best. Thank you. Kim Tyler for the USA! All right, let's meet tonight's male semi-finalist. From the UK, 1993 British champion, Phil Norman. And from America, Two Scoops, Wesley Bay. <laughs> Phil, the thing that I notice most about you is backstage and before each and every event, the concentration, the focus. And I know you're a martial arts instructor. How does that help? Sure, yeah. The, um... The discipline uh, required within martial arts as well, you have to adapt to the games. Um, also, the games being very quick, they're over very quickly, so you must uh, switch on immediately and then switch on again off, off afterwards. What about the so-called home arena advantage? There's a lot of people in the stands who, who love your work, love your performance, and will be pulling for you tonight. Yeah, it's, it's good to have the, uh, the crowd behind you. Phil Norman from Great Britain, best of luck in these semifinals. Go get them. Now, two scoops. You're an American professional footballer. Are you 100% ready tonight? I'm 5,000% ready tonight. I feel real good, and I'm glad to be in the semifinals. Now, I believe you recently got married. Did it go well for you? Yeah, everything went well. My wife, Galena, at home supports me, my mom, and my children. 
Now, you do a lot of work for the underprivileged children all over America. Have you got a message for all the kids watching? Yeah, there's always a message for the kids watching. Listen to this. Stay in school and keep your mind straight. Education is the only way. If you look to God, he will direct you. It don't matter what you do. You must be true. So stay in school. There you are, Wesley Berry from the USA. You've seen the gladiators. You've heard our contenders rap. Only one thing left to be said. Let's get it on. Let the games begin. A bet number one, women's powerball. Here they are, Latila from Finland will be using the Red Bull. And Kim Tyler from the USA, the blue. And guarding those baskets is our international gladiators, Flash, Sky and Jet. Kim Tyler, 10 stone and 3 pounds. And she'll be up against Jet from Britain, Flash from Finland, Sky from the US of A. Finland and America, are you ready? Kimberly beat Lena Gedesimova in her prelims to get here to the semis. Pirio beat Britain's Jean Clank. Powerball, 60 seconds of non-stop action. There's the whistle, we're underway. And Pirio brought down by the flash, Jet brings Kim down. Not before Kim was able to score, however. Pirio now breaking loose, she's got a goal. Almost had another before it flashed, stopped her again. Kim slips two points in there. Pass Jet that time. Reloads. Flash holds on, but she gets the two. Kim Tyler not just quick, but powerful as well. That time tries to pull Jet over and does. Walking away nonchalantly. This that was a walk in the park. Powerball, no big deal. Kim plows through Flash and gets another two points. Pirio two. High scoring stuff, Mike. And the Gladiators in disarray right now as far as teamwork is concerned. Flash takes Pirio down. Things have slowed down a little bit. It certainly takes it out of you. The last 10 seconds in particular are brutal. Finally, that is it. Kim wins it 10 to 4. And let's hope that Pirio's okay. Pirio seems to have a problem Winded. with the elbow, Mike. You know, she's not the biggest contender in the world, weighing just under 10 stones. She's not really built to take the pounding one can get in Powerball. Here's how it happened. She falls over Kim, hyperextends her elbow as she lands. She'll be checked by our physios, still grimacing in a bit of pain. That was hard. Tiring. Tiring and strong, so strong she is able to drag Sky with her on that score. Let's hear for our international gladiators. Sky, Flash, and Jet. After one event in the women's competition, Pirjo Leitila of Finland, four. Kim Tyler of the USA, ten. On to the men's event. Wes Berry there, beat Andre Akolov to get here tonight. My wife is out there praying for me, my children and mother. Each basket represents each member of my family. And it's five of us. And it's five buckets. From Great Britain, using the Red Bulls, is Phil Norman. And from the USA, using the Blue Bulls, is Wesley Two Scoops Berry. And guarding those five baskets are our international gladiators, Spartak, Sabre, and Hunter. Spartak from Russia, Hunter. Homegrown talent from Britain and Sabre all the way from the U.S. of A. Great Britain and America, are you ready? Yeah. Let's get this thing on and rock it, I'm ready. Gladiators, are you ready? Yeah. Phil Norman incidentally beat Finland's Jarmo Josisto to get here to these semifinals. So Jarmo won't be here? No, he won't. Phil is. And he's a great talent, a martial arts instructor. 1993 British champion. His hometown, Poole, England, and he weighs just Three, over 12 stone. Two. Extremely skilled in this event, as is Wes Berry. We're on the way, and Wesley scores immediately. And Phil nearly has his head taken off as he ran into two scoops. Two scoops, two baskets. Phil dunks one. It's 4 2 here. Wesley getting by Spartak, but Hunter finishes the job, and Phil scores to tie it up at four. Two points there, this is going all the way. 
Still trying to get by Saber. That one bounces off the cylinder. Hunter takes down Wesley. Phil Norman runs into the big fella, Hunter. Saber's got Wesley wrapped up. And look at Spartak swat the ball away, the big Russian gladiator. Another score for Phil Norman. This is great stuff. Here comes Phil. And he throws it. Oh, it goes in. It's a rim shot. Ah, let go in. Wesley Berry getting wrestled down by Saber. Here comes Phil trying. Oh, another great tackle by the Saber man. Big scores there. Phil 10, Wesley 4. And Wesley disappointing his family. Each basket represents a member. Only two were served up then. And I think two scoops knows he's in for a long day against Phil Norman. Here's teamwork for you. Sabre pounces on Wesley. Spartak bats the ball away. Scoops, how did you find that? I find it very exciting, you know? When you're kind of like, like the Roadrunner and Rabbit, they got to get somebody on you to catch you, and they did just that. They came up with a formula to slow me down, so it ain't over till it's over. Stay behind me and keep on watching the telly, because it's not finished yet. Well done, Scoops. You got yourself four points. Phil, so, you knew it was going to be hard. Like Scoops, you knew what to expect. How did you find it? I knew uh, that Sabre, whoa. There's no how high tackles of him, took my legs straight away. No, it's a good player he is. But uh, I knew as soon as I come out here, I had one minute to switch it on and do it. Now it's done. Are you finding that the further you go, the tougher it's getting? Yeah, without a doubt, you know. They're hitting you harder. You know, it's just more hard work. I'm up against stronger competition. Yeah, it's tough all the way. Well, you're not showing the strain. You got yourself 10 points! Well done! And Phil's mom, Fiona, celebrating with the family. And John, it's a funny thing. We talk about Powerball resembling rugby. It also has a little basketball element to it. And luck. Now, Sabre, who decides on your positioning out here in the ring? Uh, we do. The gladiators do. We um, look at each other and we decide what's best. In this case, uh, Hunter and myself a little quicker than Spartak. So we took e an end and we let the big man cover for us in case one of us made a mistake, and he did that. Those two characters, Phil Norman, very focused martial art expert, two scoops, very, very fast. They're difficult guys. Both of them are martial arts experts. You know, Phil's, I mean, uh, two scoops is a black belt in his own right. So uh, it was pretty good, nice and physical. We're ready to get busy. Y'all ready to get busy? <laughs> All right, we got a few more to go. Big man, how did you find that? Uh, a super fast game yeah. for super strong man. <laughs> Excellent. And, uh, well, uh, like Sabre says, we got the teamwork together. Sabre and I took the ends, did the best to take our man's out. But when you're six foot nine and 20 clems, not a lot gets past you. <laughs> well, well done, you guys. Let's hear it for our gladiators. Sparta, Hunter, and Sabre. After one event in the men's competition, Wesley Berry of the USA, four. Phil Norman of Great Britain, ten. <laughs> event number two in this semifinal match, the first to the top, the last to drop, it's Polak. Our women will start things off for the contenders. First up, Pirjo Laitila of Finland. For the Gladiators, the Deadly Nightshade. Still unbeaten and weighing in at 11 stone. Over to our international referee, John Anderson. You know, it's funny, Mike, that uh, John Anderson's rules and instructions take longer than the event itself. <laughs> yeah, the event only lasts about 11 seconds, but what an exciting 11 seconds. In pull action, you throw strategy out the window and just react to the whistle and climb like crazy. Look at Nightshade go, as she always does, nearly at the top. She's there, she hits the button, here you go, flying. This event can be a real downer, but this will have done a lot for Nightshade's confidence. Pirio's boyfriend, Mark, who there with the flag will try to restore her confidence. Well, Mike, you'll remember that last week Nightshade was defeated for the first time in her career on the dual platform by Adrian Sullivan, so this would have done a lot to restore her spirit. And Polak's proving that Sir Isaac Newton was right. What goes up must come down. How did you find that? Uh, the other games before I, I had the same game, and it was easier to go now, but I, I'm not in this game. Well, never mind. Nightshade is one of the best. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> Let's hear from Piro! From Finland! 
Up next for the contenders from the USA, Kim Tyler. Does Kim enjoy these games? We asked her. I like them all, except for maybe the, the pull acts, but I've only done it once, and I, I know I have it tonight. I think it's the height thing. It has nothing to do with me not being able to do the event. <laughs> it's just the height factor. Um, the rings, I'm okay at. But everything else, I, I pretty much love. Two, Funny that an aerospace one. physiologist would have a problem with altitude. Nevertheless, Kim will give it her best. That may not be good enough against Nightshade. It won't be good enough. She is off and flying again. Oh, Kim Tyler, our aerospace physiologist, re-enters the Earth's atmosphere. Splashdown. The thing about this game, Mike, is even if you win, you still got to come down. Would you do that? I would do that. I think it'd be a lot Unlucky, of fun. Unlucky, Kim. I know this might sound a little bit daft, but which is harder, going up or coming down? Coming down. <laughs> I thought you were going to say that. She's very fast, Nightshade. She hasn't been beaten yet. What do you think? Yeah, she's, she's very quick. She's a great athlete. I got to take some tips from her next time. <laughs> but um, I'm glad it's over with, because this is one of my worst events. And it's scary, because it's high up there, but she's great. <laughs> Good job. Well done. Let's hear it for Kim from the USA. Nation, yet again, still undefeated. How do you explain this? Well, I think it's because I just love that game. <laughs> that is the best free fair ride they've ever invented. When they say to me, three, two, one, go, you couldn't fire me out of that thing faster. <laughs> I mean, can you give anybody any tips? Is there any little secret things you can say which you shouldn't really? It's all about reaction and knowing that whatever happens, you're going to have to fall. Whether you win the game, you fall. Whether you lose the game, you fall. So you might as well get up there as quickly as possible and fall on your terms. Thanks very much. <laughs> no shame! After two events in the women's competition, Pirjo Leitila, Finland, four. Kim Tyler of the USA, ten. Our men set to go here in Polax for the contenders. First up, 1993 British champion Phil Norman. The gladiators, it is Hunter. Over to our international referee, John Anderson. Hunter, 17 and a half stone, six foot three tall. Remove the bridges. Only ever defeated once Three. in this event. Phil Two. Norman hoping to hand wow. Hunter another setback. This is Phil's first time up the pole. Hunter once again out clicks another contender. Down goes Norman. Nice landing, I might add. That's the martial arts training, tucking the arms in. Unlucky, Phil. That was a very, very close record. Yeah, he's uh, just uh, counting on to the... Uh, just about to hit the button, and I heard my one go, shoo, like... That's it. Well, I've got to tell you, I think Hunter climbed that in seven seconds, and you weren't far behind. Ah, uh, he's quick. Yeah, Hunter's always the one on this one to beat. Well, well done. There's a few more to go. Phil Norman from Great Britain. Next up for the men from the USA, Wesley, two scoops, Barry. Once again for the Gladiators, Hunter. Over to John Anderson. You know, Mike, Wesley should have two advantages in his favor, his fast feet and four and a half stone less to take up that Remember staircase. The, the operative word being should, because Three, Hunter throws all two, the theories out the window. One. He is so quick in his event. And the key here is responding to the whistle first. Hunter has done that, but this one's going to be close. It's going to be mighty close. Hunter gets their first again. That victory extra satisfying because he knows how tough Wesley can be. He surely served up two scoops for breakfast. After two events of the men's competition, Wesley Berry of the USA 4, Phil Norman of Great Britain 10. So, welcome back to the National Indoor Arena here in Birmingham, England. Event three, swing shot. Our contenders are ready. Pirio from Finland. And Kim from the USA. And they're going to be swinging against Lightning. And 
Boys! Once again in swing shot, all four Three, athletes tether the shot two, cords and then using the impetus one. of those cords, they spring towards that center cylinder where all sorts of things can happen and usually do. That time, Kim was able to get a yellow scoring marker. You need plenty of bounce to the ounce for this event. It's three for a red, two for a blue, and that's two blues for Kim. That's four points in the bank. She now has a total of five. Here she goes again, springing high. Does she come away with anything? Lightning used her legs that time. Up comes Pirio. She's happy with the yellow. Another critical element to this event, time your jump off that tower. Kim's got two more blues, but you gotta put them in the scoring bin to count. She does. It's 9-1 now. Pirio from Finland banks another two points, takes her up to three. This is gonna be a big swing. The Ice Maiden blocks her out. She'll try again. Here comes Kim. Oh, another good block, this time by Lightning. Our blonde bombers now getting the hang of this thing. Blondes certainly have more fun. Kim wins it 9-3. to three. After three events in the women's competition, Pirjo Lektila of Finland, 7. Kim Tyler of the USA, 19. Kim Tyler doing really well. Pirjo 12 points behind. Earlier, she told us what she thought of these events. I think uh, the... Every game is very so difficult and harder than Finland. So Pollux in this game, especially, I didn't like. Waiting to swing out from the USA is two scoops of Barry! swinging against our international gladiators, Nitro! And the Wolfman! Over to Larry Thompson. America and Great Britain, are you ready? Gladiators, are you ready? Nitro will be marking Phil Norman. Three, Wolf has been assigned two, to Wesley Berry. One. And they're quite an item now. Nitro and Wolf, aren't they? The bad guys. Up they go. And it's balls raining everywhere. A mid-air collision between four men. Wesley got three blues in. He's got a total of six. That's useful. Here comes Phil with two points for a blue. Wesley going sky high. Did he get anything? Yes, another blue. He likes those blues, doesn't he? Here comes Phil. Reaches high, peels off a red. Two reds. Two reds at six points. Wesley's got another blue. It's 10 8. He's got all the blues. And Phil in a flat spin there. Like a fighter plane out of control. Time winding down. 10 seconds to go. The question is are there any balls left on the cylinder? Not if Wolf and Nitro have anything to say about it. There's a cluster of reds at the top. That's it. And that's the end of swing shot. Wesley wins it 10-8. What a match. After three events in this men's semi-final, Wesley Berry of the USA, 14. Phil Norman of Great Britain, 18. We're ready for event number four, the chess match in midair. The wing game hang tough. The women will start things off first up for the contenders from Finland, Pirjo Laktila. <laughs> Going against her, swinging for the Gladiators, the undefeated Lightning. <laughs> Over the referee, John Anderson. Lightning, five foot six inches, Finland. ten stone, and oh, so adept at this event. Lightning enchanting to watch for a lot of reasons. Pirio Laitela has done this event before in her preliminary round matchup against American Gladiator Ice. She earned a draw. Now she's up against a gymnastic gold medalist. One Lightning. Her skill very much in evidence here. And the interesting thing, Mike, always a smile on her face and a master at traversing. 
changes directions at a blink of an eye. She'll need to change directions here. She has. That was a close shave. Kyrgios got it back to her. That is a mistake. Lightning able to cut her off. In comes the body scissors. She misses three times now. She's got around the waist. Presses the button. It won't be long now. Kyrgios strong, but... Tremendous strength holding all that weight up there. Lightning, jerking, tugging. The clock running down. Can she hang on to the draw? I've never seen anything like this before, Mike. We call this game hang tough with good reason. She discards Lightning like a rag doll. Here you like it. Are you hyped for extending your elbow in the first event Powerball? Did it affect you here at Hang Tough? Yeah, I was afraid to go this game because I really hurt my arms. How, how did you manage to hang on? She was hanging on to you like this. How did you do it? I know, I, I know that, but I, in my mind, keep, 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 keep. Don't, don't let down. You didn't let down. How about her, Birmingham? Give me a light and I would have Mike's absolutely right. Lightning tried every trick in the book. But she was so low down and only got a grip round the legs that she really couldn't pull her down. Pirio picked up her five points and was delighted. Next to swing against Lightning from the United States, Kimberly Tyler. Over to John Anderson. America ready! Ready to Space physiologist about to set off on her mission into the outer stratosphere here on the rings. Lightning got lost there for a second. And Kimberly not taking her eye off Lightning for obvious reasons. As a contender, you keep one eye on the gladiator and one eye on the ring you're about to grab. Lightning will want to make up for the last performance. Get a better grip this time. In go the body scissors, and she does it. That traverse you were talking about, there she had leverage, John. Lightning, a tremendous gymnast, and I think Kim paid the price of Kirio picking up those five points off Lightning. Lightning was more focused. Here she is doing a 180-degree turn. She locks in, body scissors on, and gets the better grip. Round where she wants to be, at the top end of the body, so she can apply the pressure. Kim, you're down. After four events in this women's semi-final match, Pirjo Laitila of Finland, 12, Kim Tyler of the USA, 19. <laughs> the men are set for Hang Tough. First up for the contenders, it is from Great Britain, Phil Norman. <laughs> Doing the swinging honors for the Gladiators, Finnish Gladiator, Terminator. Same height as Phil, 16 and a half stone though. Over to international referee John Anderson. Great Britain, ready! And in past weeks we have seen just how good Terminator, as they call him in Finland, is in this event. Yes, he really has made this his own. Tremendous track record. He may be up against it in Phil Norman. Yeah, Phil Norman very focused today and has got one thing on his mind, and that's Terminator's platform. Look at Terminator cross over expertly. You know, for a moment I thought he was going to lock on the body scissors on the Terminator. <laughs> now that's confidence. Phil had to back off a bit, change directions. He's got a chance. The Terminator came in from the blind side then. Phil could make it. One more swing, he could be on the platform. He's on the outside of the platform right now. He must be smelling. Oh, he's done it. it! Ten points. Fiona and Pete, Phil's parents, gotta love it. Woo! There's no stopping this guy now. You 
our one pumped up contender. A Terminator is no slouch in the rings and feel that focus concentration right there. I saw Terminator in, in training and he could stay up there all day. So uh, I don't know what I did. Don't ask me what I did, I don't know. I just, I started off going from the first to the third and then he was in my line, so. So basically it's an instinctive kind of thing. You just react up there. Yeah, you have to. You can't plan in this. You can't plan because things are always changing. You just have to adapt. <laughs> Terminator, what about this man? He's awfully good. Yeah, he got, he got power, you know, in his muscles. You know, he's not big, but he's very good. Big, strong, very good. Ten points for Phil Norman of Great Britain. Nice going and hang tight. <laughs> Next to swing against the Terminator from the United States of America, Wesley Two Scoops Berry. Wes told us earlier how he's going to approach today's competition. I take each day um, at a pace. Today has its worries of itself, and I'm part of the solution to fixing the problems. I feel fantastic, 100%. I'm up there. Two, one. We've seen him fly over cars. Can he fly past Terminator? Well, Terminator's had his reputation slightly besmirched lately. <laughs> I'm sure he'll want to set the record straight, Mike. Re-establish himself as Lord of the Rings. Show who the boss is. Wesley knows exactly where he is on the rings right now. Looks like he's got a game plan, and there he goes! Swings past the Terminator. He's got a breakaway. Looks like one more ring. Terminator trying to block his path. He goes round the outside, and then he hits the cameraman. He needs one more dynamic move. He's got it. Keeps his balance. Wow! <laughs> Eat your heart out, Michael Jackson. Yes, you needed the 10, you got the 10, but will you please explain to everybody out here what that breakdance was? Oh, that breakdance was a sign of pure joy. But first of all, I was scared. I was reaching for the ledge, and my foot slipped, and my hand began to slip. I said, oh, no, not this time. One more swing, and the Terminator came zap me. But he got me the last time, and it's real good. It was mighty close. <laughs> I thought you had him there, Terminator. Yeah, I need new batteries, you know. <laughs> need more energy. This guy's so good, you know. What about you? How about a finished break dance? Can you get on the floor and do what he does? <laughs> no, no, he can do it, you know. <laughs> nice going, Wesley Berry and the Terminator. <laughs> oh, yes, nice dive, Mike Adamley. I think I'll stay in the commentary box. After four events in this men's semifinal match, Wesley Berry of the USA, 24, Phil Norman of Great Britain, 28. <laughs> Event 5, the duel. Pirio from Finland is on her platform and she's going to be facing the deadly Nightshade. <laughs> Over to John Anderson. Finland, ready! Nightshade trying to rebound from her only defeat in this event. She suffered that at the hands of Adrian Sullivan last week. And Pirio will have to put up a fight, otherwise John Anderson is taking no nonsense. So far, she's a little tentative, all defensive. I would be too against Nightshade. After that dive, Mike, uh, you're my hero now. Pirio desperately trying to, to do something that looks offensive anyway. And Nightshade having problems getting around this defense at the moment. She's going to take the five points. Maybe. If John has anything to do with it, maybe not. Again, remember the contender in the duel has to mount some kind of offensive. Question is, did she? Regrettably, as we indicated at the start, it is imperative that the contender is seen to attack, is seen to be making aggressive moves. In my opinion, not sufficient aggression was shown, and therefore the contender is disqualified. I touched her to push against her 
push. But you're happy to go along with that? You accept the referee's decision? No, I'm not happy. Because I, I wasn't so many seconds in down and I really tried to attack. Did you see that? I, I tried. Well, unfortunately, here on International Gladiators, the referee's decision is final. So, unfortunately, no points. Thanks very much, Pedro. <laughs> She's been disqualified. What do you think yourself? Was she trying to fight back? Um, quite honestly, I have to say no. It's very disappointing for me as a gladiator when you get a contender who is not prepared to throw some blows. I'm a big girl, girls. Hit me. I can take it. But I, you really must try to fight. A round-the-world air ticket, first class, two of them, is not easy to win, and they can expect no mercy from Nightshade when I'm up on that platform. Thanks very much. Let's hear it for Nightshade. Well, Nightshade told it like it is. I have to agree. Hey, if you want it, you got to get on it. You got to pay the price. And Pirio, as much as she tried, just wasn't offensive enough. Good call by John Anderson. And next up to face Nightshade from the USA is Kim Tyler. Over to John Anderson. America. Ready! Gladiator! Ready! Nightshade will try and knock oh, our aerospace physiologist into orbit. And Kim has the luxury of knowing exactly what referee John Anderson was. Tora, Tora, Tora. Attack, attack, attack. And she does. She goes to battle stations, but up against Nightshade. This is a tough job. I'm not sure how you get a, a shot in on Nightshade. She's so relentless. One thing Kim is doing is she's got a different grip than Perio like to lot. And she is trying to get at least a couple of swings in there. But Nightshade dominating as she leans across those platforms. Well, Kim slips one in on the chin. I'll give her five points there, Mike. I would too, John. It was wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> Nightshade just asks you to bring your best. After all, these are the International Gladiators semi-finals. After five events of the women's competition, Pirio Laitila of Finland, 12. Kim Tyler of the USA, 24. And the first of our male contenders from Great Britain is Phil Norman. He's going to be facing a dynamite! And what does the martial arts expert think about going up against the big Russian? Well, yeah, I know I've got um, dynamite on duel. Uh, <laughs> and um, I saw him kill just about every other gladiator on duel in training. So um, that should be a fight and a half, you know, to, to survive him on duel. Will, will be, um, that's going to be a tough one. Three, Phil may need two, more than those black belts one. to survive. He's right, dynamite tough. There he goes. That didn't last long. Oh boy, he just nudged him off. That dynamite is one explosive character. <laughs> He's a groovy guy too. He's a dancing of it, like the dancing of bear. <laughs> and the last up to face dynamite from the USA is two scoops of berry. John Dynamite must have seen two America. scoops breakdance Hooray. after Hang Tough. The big fellow's got a little glide in his stride. Hooray. I was impressed. And I was also impressed at the size of this fella. Five foot ten and just under 18 stone. What makes him extra tough, he's got a low center of gravity, truly a wide body. This ought to be good. Three, two, I pay for one. ringside tickets. Like the old Rocky movies, it's like Apollo Creed versus Ivan Drago. Look at this, Wesley Berry going on the attack, unintimidated. He knows no fear, he nearly has him off, but then takes the dive. Did he dive? Or was he pushed? Two scoops. That was a great battle. That really was a battle of the Titans. What happened there? He nearly got him. He just lost concentration, you know? But I went up there and I did my best. And that's all I ask all the kids in school to do. When you're in school, give it your best. 
that jab early on, that really got Dynamite. I mean, that nearly took his head off. I tried to just put it through his helmet and, and use it as a mouthpiece, but it just didn't work. Unlucky Scoops, great performance. Let's hear it for Two Scoops Berry! After five events in the men's competition, Wes Berry of the USA, 24. Phil Norman of Great Britain, 28. At stake, two spots in our international grand final. Our women will start things off, and at the moment, Kim Tyler of the USA enjoys a 12-point lead on Pirjo Leiktila of Finland. According to our Eliminator scoring format, every point worth a half second in time. That means Kim will get a six-second head start. America, you will go on my whistle. Finland, you will go on Larry's whistle. Three, two, one. Once again, Kim with the six-second head start. And Pirio, no stranger, coming from behind. She did so to beat Jean Plank in her preliminary match. There's her boyfriend, Marku, who has been with her every step of the way here. Pirio on the rope climb. And I just love this technique of Kim's as she skips across what must be three runs at a time. It's enabled her to increase her lead, but just by a bit. The cargo net now. Her mom, Vivian, cheering her on. But it looks like Pirio made short work of that hand ladder. Now she joins Kim on the cargo net and is making short work of that. John, one of the disadvantages of going first is you have no idea where your competition is unless you stop and look backward. And there's no time for that. It's a bit like the wall. You can sense them coming up behind you. Kim now safely down the zip line. Here comes Pirio. One last chance. And you can see Kim tentative on that balance beam. She doesn't want to make a mistake now. Only the Travelator remains. Her mom, Vivian, come on, Kim, you can do it. You can do it, and she has. She breaks the barrier. Kim Tyler of the USA going on to the grand final. She can't believe it. Wow. Here comes Pirio from Finland, and she's going backwards. Who can't believe it. He must be as exhausted as she is right now. He has run the same gamut of emotions as has Perion. There and back. Willing her on. Yes, she does it. And Mark, who's pleased about that, she's done well to get through here. Congratulations, Kim. You go through to our finals. She worked very hard to get this far, and I give her all the credit in the world, and I'm glad I had a chance to compete against such a great athlete, but um, right now I'm tired, <laughs> ready to go home and go to sleep. <laughs> well, congratulations. Well done, Kim. Thank you. You like the law of Finland? Did you have a good time? Would you come back and compete again? Yeah, I'd like to come. I had a good time. Okay, well, we'd like to have you back. Here you like the law of Finland, Kitos. Oh, well, I don't know what Kitos means, but at least he didn't get his face slapped. Well, after all that action and excitement, we're going to have a timeout. See the rainbow? Catch it, Trojan. It's our latest event, Catching the Rainbow. Trojan, go for it. Get it, get it. Swim, boys. Swim, Trojan boy. Teach me some Russian slang. How do I meet women in Russia? Uh, like change. Yeah, we'll change. Yeah, we'll okay. Change. We'll change. I like stuff. this one. You see the computer. There. Oh, wow. Is this is better? Yeah, yeah. Oh, this yeah. is better. Okay, yeah, yeah. Well, I like this one. Yeah, okay. okay Vic. So, for those of you that <laughs> might not know, behind us at the moment is the House of Parliament. And the clock says it's 10 10. My clock is right. That clock is wrong. I'm going to have to go and change the time on that clock there. Change the time! You're four minutes slow! We are poised at the start of the Eliminator. Two great contenders, Wesley Berry and Phil Norman. Unfortunately, only one can go on to the international grand final. 
Phil, I'll keep this short, if not sweet. You lead by four points. That's good for a two-second head start. Your thoughts going in? Um, basically, today's been a good day. Now it's the last one. It's just time to get it on and finish it. Wesley, what about it? Your thoughts? Well, like I said, I'm going to go out here and do my best, and uh, fate will prove it. So, Phil's a great contender. I love him. And no matter what happens after this, we'll be friends. So everybody watch the telly. You are the people, the fuel that makes these two contenders run. Get them going. Best of luck to you both in the Eliminator. This has all the makings of a classic, hasn't it, Mike? And indeed, the two gentlemen have really worked up a mutual admiration for one another. Wesley Berry, a man who just two short years ago was burned, nearly 50% of his body covered by burns, but he recovered miraculously, and here he is tonight. And he's looking good. Great Britain, you will go on my whistle. America, you will go on John's whistle. Three. Phil's two, parents, Fiona and one. Pete, can't bear the drama. Phil, incidentally, has the record in this event. 51 seconds. He said it when he won the British Championship in 1993. Here comes Wesley Berry. And the fast speeds of Wesley Berry will give Phil a run for his money. Both men working the handbike expertly. Phil first across the rolling beams, but Wesley right behind him now as they climb up the cargo net, the energy sapping cargo net. The one spot where haste makes waste if you're a contender. Phil up the top first, down the zip line he comes. He looks like he's looking to set a new record here. Can West catch him? He's on his tail. They're both on the balance beam. Phil Norman of Travel Agent right away from early stumbled. I can't believe it. And as he stumbles, Wesley Berry overtakes him. He wins it. Two scoops from the USA going on to the Grand Championship. An unbelievable turn of events. What a cruel fate to happen to Phil Norman, who's broken this record. And there he stops to give the entire arena, who's been right behind him, the reward that they deserve. What a race! Incredible! 50 seconds dead! All I can say is, faith is strong, but I came a long way. I represent the all of the USA. I like to thank Phil because he's a great guy, and he will always be on the US side. Peace, Birmingham! What a winner! We'll see you in the final! Wesley Two Scoops Bay! Wes off until the very end of Travelator. Were you aware of what happened and how close he was? Um, it was when I, when I started to go up. I felt there was a lot of pressure, so I had to just go. But I just lost on the Travelator. Simple as that. Great contender, great champion, Phil Norman of Great Britain. Didn't let anybody down. None of our contenders have let anybody down. It's been a great competition. So another chapter complete here at the National Indoor Arena. Moving on to our international grand final, a pair of Americans, Wesley Berry and Kim Tyler. For John Fashionu and all of us, we'll see you again on International Gladiators. For safety reasons, do not attempt to recreate any of the events you have seen on Gladiators.